Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together. But first, I suggest you pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Alright, let's read the problem together. It says Madison created two functions. For function A, the value of y is 2 less than 4 times the value of x. I'm going to pause there and write an equation for that. The value of y is equal to 2 less than 4 times the value of x. 2 less than 4 times the value of x. And that's function A. So this is, I'm going to label that function A. And function B is in this table right here. So they give us a bunch of points or data values here. And they want to know, in comparing the rates of change, so I'm thinking rates of change, that's slope, okay? In comparing the slopes, uh, which statement about function A and function B is true? So let's just take a moment and compare the slopes, even before I read these. The rate of change for function A, it's already written in what's called y equals mx plus b form, where this number 2, or b, is the intercept, the starting point, negative 2. And this number m, the coefficient of x, that's the slope. So here, m is 4. That's our rate of change for function A. Now let's find the rate of change for function b. Um, so here we go up 2 on the x, and we go up 4 on the y, right? And we go up 4 on the y, and again up 2 on the x. So we go up 4 on the y, and 2 on the x. The slope is always the ratio of these two changes. It's the delta y divided by the delta x, right? So here our slope for function b is just simply 4 divided by 2 which is 2. So the slope of function b is less than the slope for function a, or the rate of change. So here they can have the same rate of change. Function a does have the greater rate of change, so that's the answer. Alright, I hope this helped.